Hello everyone, this is from Universal Training and Consultant Service Company. And in this lecture, we will see the types of uh, classifications of research. So the main objective of this lecture is uh, simply to, to identify and differentiate uh, the different uh, types or classifications of research, as well as determining the characteristics of uh, each research type. So um, there are different criteria used to um, classify research types. So the most common criteria used to uh, classify or differentiate the each research type are the first one, objective of the research. Second one is time required to study and the nature of data, as well as the outcome of the research and degree of data manipulation. They are some of the basic criteria used to classify or differentiate the research types. And then let us see uh, the basic um, classifications of research using the common criteria. The first criteria used to uh, classify or differentiate um, research is the purpose or the outcome as well as the use of the research. As per the, the purpose, the outcome or the use of research, researchers can be classified into uh, basic, pure, fundamental, theoretical, uh, applied and action researches. The, the action, the applied and fundamental research can be categorized under uh, as per the criteria of outcome, use or purpose. And the second um, classification of uh, research is based on the approach, the nature of data as well as the research process. So based on the approach of data or based on the nature of data, researchers can be classified into uh, qualitative, quantitative as well as mixed kind of researchers. And the third criteria used to um, classify or differentiate research is the time or the duration. So as per the time or the duration, uh, criteria, researchers can be classified into longitudinal and cross-sectional. And the fourth criteria is objective of the research as well as the aim of the research. So as per the objective of uh, or the aim of the research criteria, researchers can be classified into descriptive, explanatory, causal, correlational, and exploratory research. And the final criteria used to differentiate or classify research or is the degree of data manipulation or the degree of manipulating manipulating variables. So as per the degree of uh, variable manipulation, uh, researchers can be classified into experimental and non-experimental. So next, let us see um, the meaning of each research uh, type as well as the main characteristics of each research type. The first one, the basic research is also called pure research or fundamental research. And sometimes this kind of research also called theoretical researches. So the aim of or the main characteristics of um, the pure or fundamental research is simply generating knowledge and theories. And the second one is the applied research. Uh, uh, the applied research uh, designed to address certain research problems or to get uh, to solve immediate problems facing the company as well as organizations and the society also. So uh, the other uh, type of research is qualitative. The qualitative research, the main characteristic of, uh, or characteristics of or the unique feature of the qualitative research is which is totally non-numerical and narrative as well as unquantifiable elements can be uh, studied using the qualitative approach. And the other one, the quantitative research approach. Under quantitative research approach, we can employ different mathematical models and different statistical elements can be used to, to conduct uh, the quantitative research approach. So numbers, uh, for example, the relationship between one variable and another variable, the effect of one variable on another variable can be investigated using different mathematical and statistical elements. And this kind of research approach is called the quantitative research approach. And the other classification is based on time. This is cross-sectional and longitudinal. The cross-sectional research type is characterized by uh, when the researcher gathers data once. But the longitudinal research uh, can be conducted when the researcher collects data at multiple points in time, or it is sometimes called ongoing research. That means the data can be collected multiple times, the data on a certain or a single issue uh, or from a single point of view can be collected for several times or uh, this kind of research is also called uh, ongoing researches. And the other one, the descriptive research, as per the objective research, the first kind of research is descriptive research. So descriptive, as the name implies, the aim of the descriptive research is simply to describe the characteristics of the phenomena as it is. And the other classification is explanatory and causal. The aim of the explanatory or the causal research is simply to establish cause and effect relationships, as well as determining the influence of the independent variable on dependent variables. 
So if you want to investigate the relationship between two or more variables, let's say the relationship between the independent variable and the independent variable, then the, the appropriate research type is explanatory. And explanatory research type is also called causal. And sometimes this kind of research is also called the hypothesis testing studies. And the other one is exploratory research. Exploratory research is called preliminary investigation researches. So the preliminary investigation can be performed by using or employing exploratory researches. As the name implies, exploratory research in a sense exploring phenomena for the first time when few studies are available. Okay? And the other classification of research is action research. The action research, the characteristics of the action research is what? Taking of immediate actions on happening event source situations. This is the main characteristics of the action research. So next, let us see the meaning of each, each research type. For example, the basic, pure, or fundamental research is characterized by, characterized by developing knowledge and theories, rather than uh, inf giving emphasis on the immediate application of uh, solutions. And the pure, or the basic, or as well as the fundamental research uh, is important to improve our understanding of the general issues without any emphasis on its immediate applications. And the aim of this kind of research is simply to, to contribute or to add something on the existing stock of knowledge, as well as developing or generating the new knowledge and theories rather than uh, to solve a specific problems. That means uh, usually the applied researches can be conducted to solve uh, uh, problems uh, and to apply or to, to solve or to, to determine the immediate uh, I mean, solutions for a given problems. That is what we call the applied researches. So the applied researches uh, adopt uh, theories uh, developed through fundamental researches for the purpose of getting solutions for immediate problems. So the aim of the applied research is simply find solutions for an immediate problem facing a society, institution, or any business kind of organizations. Therefore, the applied researches uh, can be conducted for uh, the purpose of solving uh, practical life problems. And then the other kind of research type is um, the descriptive research type. As I told you earlier, the descriptive research is uh, simply uh, proposed to describe uh, a given phenomenon as it is. So uh, descriptive researches can be conducted or undertaken to describe the characteristics of variables of interest in a situation. Therefore, the goal of this kind of research is simply to describe relevant aspects of the phenomena and answering the WH questions, like who, what, when, where, and how associated uh, uh, questions or like questions can be answered through uh, descriptive uh, studies. And the other one, exploratory research. So the aim is here to just explore the phenomena. And uh, when we explore, when there is um, little information or few studies are available, that means when not much is known about the situation at hand. So the small amount of information is available about the topic, as you. So exploratory research is important here. So in the under exploratory research, preliminary works need to be done to gain familiarity with the phenomena. And then, uh, the explanatory research is sometimes called correlational, causal, or hypothesis testing researches. So uh, the aim of such kind of research is simply to determine the relationship between two or more variables, as well as establishing cause and effect relationships between uh, variables. Let's say if you want to um, determine the relationship between uh, X and Y, X variable and Y variable, so the appropriate kind of research type is explanatory research type. And sometimes this kind of research is called so-called correlational causal or hypothesis testing researches. And then the other kind of research is longitudinal. As I told you earlier, the uh, classification of research as per the time is longitudinal or uh, cross-sectional. So the longitudinal research examines uh, the features of a unit at more than one time. Uh, it involves data collection at multiple points of time. Okay. And the other one is cross-sectional kind of research. So in cross-sectional researches, surveys can be conducted at a specific point at the same time. So data can be gathered uh, once in this kind of researches, cross-sectional researches. And the other kind of research is the action research. So the action research is also under uh, another type of research, especially as per the criteria of uh, the purpose of the research. 
So um, the main uh, characteristics or the unique feature of the action research is uh, action research is based on the taking of immediate actions on the happening events or situations. So the researcher here is actively uh, involved in the solutions of the problem. Uh, that means the researcher plan uh, for interventional strategy, and then uh, the researcher will intervene in the, in, the, in the research, and the researcher will continue the process until a, a sufficient understanding of the problem is achieved. Thank you so much. This is all about this lecture, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, in our next video, we will see again different types of uh, sample and sampling techniques. Thank you so much.